First, I'm going to take the Lambo out for a little bit of a drive. I was going to go in between the Lambo or the Subaru, and let's take the Lambo. So, where do we want to go? Let's go for a bit of a drive. We could go to the rainforest, the Kiwa Valley, uh, out the outback. The last festival I need to get is actually one in here. I'm not going to tell too much if you guys aren't up to that point. So there's all different races and stuff and the barn finds are there. So I'm going to go for a drive down here. And one thing you will know if you hover over this, this game wants you to drive. And it wants you to drive everywhere. It doesn't want you to just race in the races and then fast travel to another place. This thing wants you to drive because you see down the bottom there, yeah, it says X. You press the X button to fast travel for 4,800 credit. So it pretty much wants you to drive until you get the billboards. I think you get the billboards, all the billboards, and then you can actually um, fast travel. But we'll have to see. But up until then, this game wants you to drive everywhere. And the problem with that is this map is huge, guys. Massive. But this is way bigger than Forza Horizon 2 map. So, you're going to be doing... Oh, hard on the brakes. You're going to be doing a lot. A lot of uh, driving. Especially on the outback. Everything's just really, really fast. Another thing that they've actually... They rumoured... They actually rumoured... But I wasn't sure if it was in the game or not, and I was been playing the game for a while and hadn't seen it up until about a couple of hours ago. I actually saw it for the first time, and that was animals. A lot of people are saying that animals are in the game and they've spotted all these different animals. I hadn't seen any, you know, and I was thinking it was a bit of a hoax, and they were making it up, and yeah, there's no animals, it's just in the cutscenes or whatever. But the only time I've seen it was in the forest and I had the drone. I was looking for a barn or something along those lines and I grabbed the drone. Now that's the best thing to do. If you are looking for something, go into drone mode. Because this map is so big that you're going to be searching for a very, very long time. But as you can see here, I use the Lambo. Skyline GTRV spec, mate. Ready to collect when you are. Well, that was just a spoiler alert for you guys because that just popped up. But I use the Lambo or the Subaru because the Lambo and the Subaru are all-wheel drive and they're really quick, a real quick zippy sort of car. So you can just really fly from one point to another. The Lambo. It loves these sorts of roads, but you will notice that the road undulates a lot. Now, in my demo, my review on the demo, or, or literally my rundown of the demo video, I was saying that it matches Australia, because Australia is my home country, and, you know, this is where I live, and I see these roads day in, day out, and I'll tell you what, they have done really well with this game, from the outback, to the rainforest, to the beach driving, anywhere you go, and it just looks awesome, and you actually stop, like this game, like I love going fast, love really going fast, but you see on how the it's starting to change into the rainforest here, I love going fast, but if you just pull over, meters, and just left. take a moment, like, look at the actual graphics of this game. It is insane on how awesome. A little bit of a plug for myself. Dispersed to gaming YouTube on the side. Like, the graphics on this game, like I normally have at the cockpit. And we're actually talking about drone mode. You get this pretty early on. It's a perk. So you can you just activate this perk. But this is drone mode. It looks sick. And you can go right down low to the road. Like, look. Look at that. That just literally looks like here in Australia. Now, you start to realise that they've tied it in really well. And the Australian theme, theme is completely through the game. Uh, from travelling to the city, to the outback, to the beach, wherever you go. And as you can tell, right now, we're heading straight into the forest. 
So this is where I came through with the HSV. So I don't know if you can do online uh, drone mode. I haven't actually tried that yet. I've done online adventure. I've also done some drag racing. Now that's a little bit of an Easter egg if you guys haven't found it already. Uh, but if you go to the airport, there is a it's a P icon on your on your map, like the letter P. Go to that, and it's like a car show. Uh, for like a car park, car show. And you go there and you get to check out other people's rides. I think you can offer to buy their rides as well if you click on it. And you can do drag races or a online free roam or online adventure. So it's it's pretty cool. Now online adventure is like uh, a championship. So you get four races and you do them one after the other after the other. But the racing doesn't stop. You go straight from racing to back into the open world or the free roam but you've got to then when your destination gets calculated you've got to then race to the next race and try and beat the people there but do it in style as well so like do burnouts there's the train actually you know but try and beat people and do it in style now here's the train oh my god I'll just pull up here. You guys want me to get here by the train? Let's do it. Oh man, that's stuffed up the car. That's stuffed up the the Lamborghini. But you can get you can get hit by the train, you can get hit by the trams. And at first, when I first started playing the game, I thought the train was one of those things where it only appeared on special events, you just had the train tracks, you know, and it never appeared. Until the one day that I was flying across the railway tracks, and I heard something go, whoo, like straight past me. I didn't realise what it was, because it was, I was doing a, um, and I was making my own blueprint. And, <laughs> I actually watched the replay of it. And it was the train had just missed the side of my car. I just like literally skimmed the nose of this bloody train. When it rains on this game, holy crap, like you have there's multiple different versions of rain. So there's like Oh, I discovered a new route. There's multiple different versions of rain. So there's like normal rain, you got the thunderstorms, you got the fog, you got like severe weather. Uh, you got windy days, you've got normal days, you've got clear, sunny, night time. The amount of, like, just the weather mechanics. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on? Everyone hit the brakes. The amount of weather mechanics that are in this game is insane. Like, if you actually stop... Well, that's a, um... You see the wind, and depending on how windy it is, the clouds will move even quicker. And you can see the road is undulated on the side, and you can even see on the edge of the road there, that's like here in Australia, where it all laps up like that, so... Yeah, my car's all damaged. That was a shocking one, that's probably like one star. To earn one star. I didn't even register on it, I don't think. And it's... This is actually my event, guys. I didn't even know it was here. The Cooper PD Town uh, bucket list blueprint. If you want to actually come and do my bucket list. There's people... Are they all... They're probably most of them tend to hang around the beach. Oh no, a lot of them are hanging around Surface Paradise. Most of the time they like hanging around down near the beach on online for some reason. What are they? Playground. So there's heaps of events and when it comes to the online events, there is heaps you can do you can do playground games you can do races you can do drift like it's endless the amount you can actually do if you guys from 
Forza or Turn 10 Studios are actually watching this, one thing I'd love for you to guys to actually put into the game would be like a 200 series Land Cruiser or something along those lines and just be able to, or maybe the Nissan Patrol, like a little bit of the both because the Toyota Land Cruiser, like the 200 series or the 80 series or just do like a DLC pack where you can download a bunch of four-wheel drives with, uh, you can do the the bull bars and the winches and the lift kits and stuff because in australia that is like massive we're massive into the the four-wheel drive aspect of it you know the dune buggies are great and stuff but the four-wheel driving stuff like the if you had like a, the 200 series land cruiser with the diesel v8 in it and you could just modify it that would be awesome so i've also got the Audi R8, I've got BMWs, this is a car that I actually did for 6 foot 4 Honda, and I tried every way to get a hold of him, you know, I tried Twitter, I think I tried his Facebook, pretty much everywhere to try and get a hold of him, because I wanted to actually give him this decal kit. Now, on the side here, you got the back the fuck up. you got the six foot, and you've also got the uh, YouTube logo down there, a little bit hidden. And the car's completely wrapped in like a carbon fiber. So it looks pretty mint. As you can see, it's really cool. And uh, I actually ended up getting a hold of him because I was pretty surprised that I could get a hold of him because he's a pretty sought after bloke, you know, like heaps of people want to speak to him, he's got like 800,000 subscribers, so he's got a massive following, and I, I've followed him for ages and everything, motor vlogging, so I made this for him, and surprisingly he saw it, said it's awesome, and how does he put it on the game, so I told him how to put it on the game, which is pretty mean, but I did it like that because he's actually got a Camaro in real in real life. So this one's completely kitted out. I've worked this one. It doesn't go as quick as what I thought it would, but you know I could probably muck around with it. Maybe put a V12 in it, or do like some car series for you guys. Along here, I've got a heap of other ones. Like I said, there's probably some that are in the barn finds. Uh, I got a, this one here, which is the HSV. I called this one the channel car or a lot of people call it the company car because it's literally blasted uh, with dispensed to gaming and subscribed down the side of it now I've done a lot of online races with this and I've done I don't know if it was online free roam or something because I've been dabbling around with the online stuff a, a little bit you know with with doing different races and stuff a lot of people have actually commented with that being on the side and they actually said that, that was really cool and that they've actually ne never seen anyone do it because when they're behind me they see that uh, when they're beside me they say that I've seen people slow down uh, and actually stop and look at it and, uh, and say in the chat holy crap that, that HSV is awesome you know so I've got heaps of that sort of stuff so I'll just put it on the door or something of my car, if I'm going to go online, I'll just have it there, you know, as a little bit of a, a little bit of a joke that actually got serious, and people said it was really awesome, there's another one there, this is my Subaru, and it's worked, this thing is a S2914 um, level Subaru, and it's nuts, I've taken it to a fair few online races, and it's won, I don't know how many it's won, but it's actually done pretty well, this one here is a build that I did for my brother because my brother's actually got a Toyota GT86 and he's got it exactly like this. So it's in the gold or the, the orange sort of color and it's got the aero kit on it. So I did the decals and everything like that to make it look like it's got the aero kit on it around the side. The only thing they couldn't do was the spoiler. You know, Forza don't actually do the aero kit spoiler, which is the big wing like a Subaru on the back. But, you know, I made it look like his car with the aero kit. It looks pretty mint, and uh, now he wants to buy the game just because I put the, I made this car for him. I'll probably send him this car. It's completely worked. So if he actually gets the game, I'll, I'll just give it to him. He can have it. Uh, I think it's like a $100,000 car with all the work and stuff that's had. 
It's only valued at 28800 but with the work I've put into it, it's probably like a $100,000 car. I will go to the car showdown. So I'll show you where it is. And this is where the game does really well with jumping in and out of online mode. So, you know, it's, it's not a designated, oh, you can tell the difference. You can actually pull up at a random event that happens to be a online mode and the game just automatically just sinks straight into it so it's a, they've done really well with meshing that like I didn't play a massive amount of Forza Horizon 2 so I can't tell you exactly what it was like on that it probably was the same oh just go straight through there they also need to fix that uh, put like a, a through road there on the freeway, or maybe it's just designed so you jump it, I don't know. And this is where you go out to the airport, and you can tell it's out in the outback, you've got the red dust, and this is what it is like here, guys. Like, on the, out here in the outback, this is exactly what it's like. Even the weather, with um, the way the weather shifts, sometimes it gets really dark clouds and it rains. We'll just cut through here. I'm probably going to damage the hell out of this. Let's go to the auto show. You have arrived at your destination. So you literally just go to drive in here. The game takes over and finds a session. So it just pulls up next door car. And at, at first, I think... I don't know if it's 100% online people straight away. Or it's driver cars and then it shifts them out for online people. So you pull up here and you can scroll along. So I think that's a driver tar. Oh, no. That's, these are actually, pla man, they're, holy crap. Oh my god. Holy crap, someone's done up the Falcon. I don't even know if that's actually, if he's done that up. How did he manage to get that? Super cheap auto Falcon. So, here you've got all the different cars, and these are actual players. So, I wasn't sure. When I first logged into it, it glitched out really hardcore and shot me out and crashed the actually crashed the game. Uh, but then every time I go into it after that, it seems to be alright. So, you can hit Y, which goes to online. You can do online free roam or online adventure. Or you can also do a showdown. Now, a showdown will pop up underneath the player list. So, you got all the players there. Sometimes people are talking in here. And, um, you know, talking about different things. This is where a lot of people would also comment on, on the dispenser gaming on the door when it's at the car show as well. So, it's got the Born to Race. Oh, actually, I was on the wrong person. It's got the Born to Race, uh, you know, decal kit on it, if you've watched that movie. So, it's got the Born to Race decal kit on it. And then I've put this Spedster Gaming. Now, I did it all myself. I've done the blacked out rims. And I think it looks pretty mint. Like, I love getting around on the, in this Subaru. It's really quick, really zippy. And, um... You can actually rev it. I didn't have that option earlier when my game glitched out. You know, and you can, you can actually see the upgrades it's had. So, people normally scope you out here. And then they'll want to race. Now, I've won a few drag races, uh, none in this, I've won them all in the Aventador, and, you know, there's another black Subaru, B, B, one's the only S, S one here, oh no, that, now you've got to watch them, because these guys, if they're kitted out like that, they know how to drag, and they hammer, they fly, while trying to catch them. So then you've got a lot of old school. It started off with all the Subarus, and now it's... Yeah, I'm going to do a showdown race for you guys. I'm probably going to get owned because my Subaru's actually kitted up for going around town. Now I do all the custom work on the car. I completely get in and change all the settings. And it's actually set up for around town, so it's going to top out around about 300 and... I think 310, 330 kilometers an hour. So they're going to pit me on the end of the straight. So I'll just do this for you guys so you get to actually see some online. And let's get into this. This is going to be 
absolutely awesome. They set it up. Now, how they do these drag races are pretty cool. They let the lower class cars go first, and then the real fast ones go after. They, I'm, I'm probably going to come second. I, I reckon I'll probably get the the C300 Mercury Coupe before the line. Uh, but that Dart Hemi, I don't think I'll get that before the end of the line. There's no way. Because it's kitted up like a drag car. This guy obviously drag races. So we let that thing go. So they go. You probably, the chances of catching them by the end are. Holy crap. See, so look at it. Just smokes me. I might even come last, actually. Holy crap. That guy finished already. So, I'll run this. Now, this, the Lamborghini Aventador normally does pretty well in the showdown, guys. So, hopefully, I can, I'm able to win one for you. Another thing, actually, I'll bring up, is a lot of people were saying about wildlife. Now... I don't know what wildlife you guys have seen. I haven't even seen a bloody kangaroo. I saw a bunch of dingoes in the rainforest when I was in the drone mode. I haven't seen any in the car at all. Uh, but I have not seen a kangaroo. People have said they've seen crocodiles and all sorts of stuff. I haven't seen any of that. And I have not seen any animals in the car, apart from the cutscenes. So, this is going to be interesting. I don't even know... Jesus Christ. I should be able to get him by the end. Oh. I short shifted by accident. 402 kilometers an hour. Now, if I actually worked that and changed it up, I'll probably be able to get more out of the Aventador. But, you know, it seems to be alright how it is now. If you actually want to go to that car meet that I was just at, it's in the airport. So you just go to that P. I'm not sure when that actually becomes available. I just happened to drive in there and it popped up. So I don't know if you have to be a certain level for it to pop up or you just drive in there and it pops up. Uh, but that's where it is. You can come and suss it out. You can do some drag races and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's, a, it's an awesome little feature that they've added into the game without having to actually jump out of your uh, solo career. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you liked the video, give it a huge thumbs up. Go ham on it. It means a lot. Also, what cars have you got and what wildlife have you guys seen? I'd love to know. I'd love to read your comments because a lot of people have been saying different stuff and I've only found dingoes and that is it and also guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button it means a lot and until next time guys peace